Hi, I'm David Guggenheim, founder and president of Ocean Doctor, a nonprofit organization based in Washington, D.C. I'm now in my 18th year working in Cuba, and it has been some of the most gratifying work in my career. If you listen to the political discourse, you'll hear that the Straits of Florida separate Cuba and the United States. But if you put a mask on and stick your head below the water, you realize those waters don't separate us, they unite us. Cuban fish actually grow up to be American fish. Sea turtles and sharks and even manatees make the journeys between our countries. So if you really want to protect these species, you have to think internationally. When I was 15, I went to Florida for the very first time. I attended a marine science camp called Sea Camp in the Florida Keys and was absolutely mesmerized by coral reefs. They were magnificent and full of healthy corals and fish. The most recent studies show that we've lost half of the corals in the Caribbean, and actually about half the corals worldwide are gone. And the prognosis is not very good. Corals could disappear entirely by the end of the century. Corals are incredibly important for biodiversity, for the fish that we eat, for tourism, and for coastal protection. But in Cuba, I discovered something almost magical. The corals looked incredible. In fact, they looked better than what I remembered in the 70s. It was a time machine, a living time machine. And I've really dedicated my career to making sure Cuba continues to protect its corals and does not follow the leader of the rest of the Caribbean, which has really done a lot to undermine the health of its natural resources. Today we're working with Cuba's Environmental Ministry and its National Center for Protected Areas to apply the principles of environmental economics to Cuba's ecosystems. For too many years, we ignored the value of the environment. It was free. We would just dump our waste into it or use its resources without fully considering the cost of environmental impact. So we've partnered on a very important project to put environmental economics tools in the hands of decision makers in Cuba. The hope is that these tools will result in much better decisions Decisions that don't follow the same path and mistakes that the rest of the Caribbean made over the past century in its adoption of the mass tourism model, for example. I feel like we're in a race to save coral reefs. And for me, Cuba represents our greatest hope for coral reefs in the Caribbean. Our work is urgent and important, and I hope you'll consider supporting us. Thank you.